and we're joined now on the phone with a man that has been very busy over the past 24 hours, Congressman Mike Ross. Good morning, Congressman. How are you? Hey, Alice. Top of the morning to you. I appreciate you calling in. I know you're traveling around Arkansas right now, and you made an announcement yesterday that uh, the the state's worst kept secret that uh, you're running for governor on the the Democratic side. Tell tell us what your message was as you traveled the state yesterday. Well, I, I want to use my experience as a small business owner, someone who has created jobs alongside my wife Holly in our hometown of Prescott. Uh, I had the the privilege to serve for 10 years in the state Senate, shoulder to shoulder with Mike Beebe, Uh, and then for for 12 years in the U.S. Congress. And and you think you're fed up with Congress. I was so fed up, I quit my job. (laughs) And, you know, know, I was fed up with the dysfunction and the partisan nature of Washington. And Arkansas is too small of a state for us to let that happen down here. I mean, we're all Arkansans first. I've got a history of bringing people together, working with Democrats and Republicans to find common sense uh, solutions. And, you know, this has really been a grassroots effort. I mean, three months ago, Alice, I would have told you I was never going to run for public office again. And and there's really been this grassroots movement uh, from people from all walks of life and from all over the state that have encouraged me to to step forward and, and to lead the state. And I'm humbled by that. And I've heard the call. And uh, I'm committing the next year and a half of my life to, to hopefully being being your next governor. And in your speeches uh, yesterday, uh, traveling around the state, you say you want to, uh, t- you're looking for the future of Arkansas. You're running for governor to build on the foundation and progress that Governor Beebe has made in the areas of education and economic development. And you're running for governor because you believe in the future of Arkansas. What separates your vision for the future of Arkansas with that of uh, Bill Halter, who is also running on the Democratic ticket. Well, I think I think I've got the, the maturity, the experience uh, that he does not have. You know, I'm going to I'm going to govern with a with a steady hand. I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be compassionate, and and I'm going to I'm going to really listen. And I think you know I've got a history of bringing people together and and working with Democrats and Republicans. I don't believe all Democratic ideas are good. I don't believe all Republican ideas are bad. And we need someone that, that's going to put Arkansas first, and I'm committed to, to doing that. Look, at, you know, I think Governor Beebe has done a good job, and if, if people disagree with that, they probably need to go find another candidate to, to support. Uh, I think Governor Beebe has been one of the best governors in this country. He kept us in the black when most states were going in the red. Um, you know, and so it's that kind of fiscal responsibility that I want to, I want to bring with me uh, to the governor's office. I think, you know, Governor Beebe has laid a a great foundation in the areas of education and economic development, and I want to build on them. And we still have a lot of work to do, but, I mean, the economy is getting stronger every day, and and I think Arkansas is on the cusp of an economic revolution. And quite frankly, I think we missed out on the the last economic revolution in the 80s and 90s. And when you see, you know, the the good-paying jobs that went to Mississippi and Alabama and Tennessee and Georgia, and I want to make sure we don't miss out the next time. Uh, I helped create the Economic Development uh, Board in my hometown of Prescott, Arkansas, and we've done well there. Uh, Firestone Building Products, I mean, they just completed a $36 million expansion, uh, which saved or created over 500 jobs in, in my little hometown in southwest Arkansas. But I announced yesterday in my hometown at the Industrial Park, and it was, it was a stark contrast. You've got Firestone there doing well, putting people to work, but the rest of the industrial park remains empty. And as I said yesterday in my hometown, we've got, you know, industrial parks all over this state in towns large and small that, that are too much park and not enough industry. So I want to be an economic ambassador for Arkansas, and it starts with education. You've got to have a highly skilled, well-educated workforce to attract the jobs of today and the future. Uh, Congressman Ross is my guest who announced yesterday he's running for uh, Arkansas governor, and you didn't waste any time uh, in terms of, of going after Republicans. You you were quoted as saying that there are some, quote, misguided uh, politicians in the state legislature, uh, and you said they made divisive issues of the past their top priority. You know, I've got, I've got Republicans, uh, Democrats, independents supporting me. I've heard Republicans tell me that, you know, when they voted for a Republican state legislature, they were voting for a smaller government, less taxes, and instead, this legislative session has been about, you know, the divisive social issues of the past. And, and the point I'm trying to make, look, I am personally opposed to abortion. 
But like Governor BB, from a public policy standpoint, I think it should be safe, legal, and rare. But don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm opposed to state and federal funded abortions, and I have consistently voted uh, that way. My point is this: that you know, you know, not only did they did they pass a 12 week abortion ban, they passed a 20 week abortion ban. I mean, wouldn't one suffice? I mean, clearly they, these were were put out there and and passed to be able to use uh, to help elect Republicans in the next election and to help oppose Democrats in the next election. And and wow, what a price tag! I mean, the, these these bills, which are now law, are going to be litigated in the courts. Clearly, they're going to be struck down as unconstitutional, and it's going to cost the state millions of dollars. That's millions of dollars we could be spending investing in our children's education, and in economic development and creating jobs here at home. And so my point is that this new Republican legislature wants to take us back to the past. They spent way too much time this session debating the divisive social issues that we've been debating since the 70s. They're largely going to be decided by the courts. We need to be focused on the future. My campaign is about our values, our future. It's about jobs. It's about economic development. It's about job creation. Uh, Congressman Ross, uh, one thing you brought up the the pro life issue, and you've been there's been some articles since your announcement that take, taking this uh, pro life position, despite having voted for virtually identical abortion bans in Washington while you were in Congress. No, that's not that's not true. There's there's people on the left and the right attacking me, and and you know I knew this when I got in the race. I knew I was going to take hits from the Republican Governors Association, the Republican Party of Arkansas. Or Mesa Hutchinson and whoever opposes him, as well as Bill Halter and who else jumps in the Democratic primary. And I'm willing to take those hits because I love Arkansas and the, and the people that call Arkansas home, and I want to leave, leave this state. But um, that is, is not true at all. I mean, my position has not changed. I'm personally opposed to abortion. Uh, I know some of the articles you mentioned that were referenced are talking about federal-funded abortions. And I'm, I'm opposed to state and federal funds being used for abortions as is Governor Beebe. But like Governor Beebe, I think it should be safe, legal, and rare. All right. Congressman Mike Ross, thank you so much for calling in today, and, and best of luck as you travel around and, and, and get your race for governor off the ground, and best of luck to you, and look forward to talking, to, talking with you soon. MikeRoss.com. All right. I encourage people to join our campaign. All right. Thank you, Congressman Mike Ross. Appreciate it.